Hi everyone, it's Mr. Baker here with another physics video. Today we're going to be looking at the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the electromagnetic spectrum and we're going to be answering this question, what is the difference between different types of waves? So you'll have seen this effect before. This effect here is called dispersion, where white light enters a prism and you can see all the different colours of the rainbow there. You can see that the light has refracted, it's changed direction as it's entered the glass and then again when it leaves the glass prism. But why exactly is it happening? So to understand that, let's have a look at what happens to the different colours as they enter the prism. So as I change the colour of the light, can you see what happens to the direction of that light? So as it goes from red to yellow to green to blue and then to violet, you can see that the violet is refracted more than the red. So each of those colours in the spectrum are refracting a different amount. And they're refracting a different amount because they're actually going through the glass at different speeds. So let's have a look at this then. So a prism splits the ray of white light into the colours of the rainbow. This process is known as dispersion. The colours that make up white light are called the spectrum. Dispersion occurs because different colours of light refract differently. Red light refracts the least, violet light the most. Red has the longest wavelength, violet the smallest wavelength. The order of the colours of the spectrum is always the same. You can use a mnemonic to remember the order of the colours. So something like this, Richard of York gave battle in vain, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So here we have the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is basically a movement of energy in the form of a wave. The electromagnetic spectrum describes different sections with different properties. So radio waves have got the longest wavelength and the smallest frequency. So you can see we use radio waves for radios. And we go through, you can see that we use microwaves there for mobile phones and also cooking obviously with microwave ovens. All the way through to infrared where you can use maybe for remote controls. Visible light is the stuff we see. Ultraviolet. Um, can cause suntan, sunburn, and we can use it for different things as well. Um, X-rays, quite a high energy wave, uh, potentially uh, dangerous to us as it's becoming more and more ionizing. So everything from ultraviolet onwards we would call ionizing radiation. And that means that they can turn atoms into ions. And if that happens inside our bodies, then that could be quite dangerous for us. All the way to the end where we've got gamma waves, which are the highest energy in that they've got the shortest wavelength, the highest frequency, and they're the most ionizing waves. So let's just have an aside here and look at how fast light is. And we can work it out. We can work it out if we know that it takes 1.3 seconds to travel from the Earth to the Moon. And that's a distance of 390,000 kilometers. So we know that speed equals distance divided by time. So we can work out that the speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second or 300 million meters per second. Each type of radiation shown in the electromagnetic spectrum has a different wavelength and a different frequency. So we've said that the highest frequency and the shortest wavelength is the gamma and that goes all the way through to the low frequency long wavelengths of the radio waves. Each of these types travel the same speed through a vacuum which is 300 million meters per second as we just calculated and different wavelengths are absorbed by different surfaces. So for example, infrared is absorbed very well by matte black surfaces. This absorption may heat up materials like infrared and visible or cause an alternating current like in an antenna. So how can we remember the order of the electromagnetic spectrum? We've got a mnemonic for the colors of the visible light. So this is how I remember it. So this is the order. And so we start off with Randy Monkeys. So here we've got a Randy Monkey and he is in velvet underpants and he's exterminating, I know that doesn't quite work, but he is, it's an exterminating with the X there, a gibbon. So Randy Monkeys in velvet underpants, exterminate gibbons, radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, X-ray, gamma. Now, if you don't like my mnemonic, to remember the order of the electromagnetic spectrum, you can always come up with your own. Um, the more memorable, the better. So if you can make it weird and wonderful, then your brain will remember it even better. So what's the formula for wave speed? 
So for any set of waves, the wave speed v can be calculated from the frequency f and the wavelength lambda using this formula, wave speed equals frequency times wavelength, v equals f times lambda. What are the units of speed, frequency, and wavelength? Well, wave speed is measured in meters per second, frequency is measured in hertz, and wavelength is measured in meters. So let's do an example of that. What's the wavelength for the radio signal for BBC Radio 1? So it has a frequency of 97.1 megahertz, and let's say that the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. So remember our DESRA, so D for data. Our data here is that the velocity, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second or 300 million meters per second. And we need to convert things into our standard units. So we would use meters per second. And frequency is 97.1 megahertz. Mega means a million, so we've got 97,100,000 hertz. E then of our DESRA is for the equation, and our equation for wave speed is V equals F times lambda. Our S of our DESRA is to substitute in our values. So we've got the speed is 300 million, we've got the frequency is 97,100,000, and we've got our wavelength there as well, so that's the thing we don't know. So we've got to rearrange R to find lambda, our wavelength, so we have lambda equals 300 million divided by 97,100,000, and then we get to our answer. So our answer for wavelength is 3.09 meters. So the length of a wave for BBC Radio 1 is about three meters long. So that's the end of today's one then. This is what you should be able to do. So you should be able to identify the position of electromagnetic waves in the spectrum in order of wavelength and frequency. You should know that all EM waves travel at the same speed in a vacuum, and you can calculate the speed, wavelength, and frequency of different sections of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, so that was our lesson on electromagnetic spectrum, and we asked at the beginning, what is the difference between different types of waves? Well, different types of waves have got different wavelengths and different frequencies. In the electromagnetic spectrum, all of the waves travel at the same speed, though. But because of the different wavelength and because of the different frequency, they have different properties and we'll look at all of those different properties in more detail in future lessons. Okay, so that's been another physics video all about the electromagnetic spectrum. I've been Mr. Baker, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.